Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, buen dia, buen tarde, buen noche, whenever you are watching this video. I do hope you enjoy it. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what happened when we used our neem oil for the third application. And it looks like it worked. In fact, our grapevines have started their fall flush. This is August 2022 and we have had a ton of rain. In fact, you can see some rain on the leaves we just had some rain overnight and looks like that application for the leaf hopper treatment worked again you can see this is our red flame grapes you can see the the red leaves coming out that is pretty distinct of the red flame grape and then our thompson seedless our thompson seedless got hit hard this year you can see all the death and destruction from those leaf hoppers and it looks like all the fresh growth is not being affected at all there's a few little leaf hoppers here and there, but nothing compared to what it used to be. I'd just walk by it and there'd be just little bugs hopping everywhere. But you can see everything else is looking really, really good. Really happy about that. Now, what we've noticed is these leaf hoppers are pretty aggressive. That neem oil affects its eggs and the adult bugs. And it looks like it did a really good job. In fact, all this fresh growth you can see all that wonderful rain we're getting. All that fresh growth is not being affected by the leaf hoppers yet. Now we've got some rain coming up this weekend. We're expected up to three inches just in our area, which is wonderful, but that's also probably gonna wash off the residual neem oil treatment. So after, after these storms are over, we're definitely gonna give it one more good treatment. We just don't want these leaf hoppers taking advantage of all that fresh growth. We do want to encourage this fresh growth because we're going to be pruning this in the springtime. You can see all the destruction. This is our Princess Crimson Grape and you can see all the death and destruction. This one didn't get hit too hard, but man, I'm telling you, those Thompson Seedless and the Red Zinvendel, they got hit hard. But you can see with all of our vines, everything's looking really, really good. In fact, for some reason, down here, we're propagating the Red Flame Grapes and these little guys didn't get affected at all. Or very minimal, which is very interesting. But our Summer Royale, Summer Royale got it just a little bit. In fact, you can see all the new growth coming out, that fall flush, the tendrils coming out. That's good signs of active growth. And our Cabernet, Cabernet's doing really good. These are all one year. These, these smaller ones are just the one year vines. We just planted them in the springtime. Little quite late in the season best time to plant grapes is when they're dormant in the winter here in Arizona usually January February is a really good time to plant your grapes but just wanted to share that with you just a quick little update on how our grapes are doing looks like they're doing just fine look at that wonderful rain beautiful so I hope you enjoyed this video it is an it is an update on our neem oil treatment for leaf hoppers that neem oil is a it's a very diverse organic insecticide it takes really good care of our grapes and that pesky leaf hopper that we always get every single year so please give this video a nice like we do appreciate that it just lets us know that you're watching these videos thanks for passing by if you haven't subscribed yet if you haven't go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you're feeling frisky, that bell icon, that way you'll be notified every time we post these videos and updates of our backyard, orchard, and vineyard. And leave some comments. If you, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, leave them down in the comments section below. We love to hear from our viewers. So from my family to yours, thanks for watching.